Hello and welcome to Beat the Bookie. I'm your host, Will Scott, here to once again make you some money. And before we get rolling with this week, let's take a look at last week's picks. Darren Wallace went two and six. Rough week for my boy Degenerate. He did have Baylor money line though. That was a nice pick. Rutgers let him down. That's why I never bet on Rutgers. All right, it's time to get started. We begin with our games of the week. Villanova hosting Creighton. Nova's one of the hottest teams in the country. Seven straight wins coming off of a very impressive 20 point win at St. John's. Creighton's a solid team. Might keep it close for a while, but I like Nova to roll at home, a place they haven't lost all season. Texas Tech and Kansas. The Red Raiders are much better than their record. They've lost a lot of close games this year. This is a good basketball team that's going to challenge Kansas tonight. Tech is coming in with some momentum after a big win against a very good West Virginia team. I fully expect the Red Raiders to cover. Let's put $15 on it. To the Plains, Auburn hosting Kentucky tonight. The Tigers have been hearing it all year. You aren't legit. You haven't beaten anybody. This is their chance. Auburn is undefeated at home this season. One of the best offenses in the country, putting up 80 points a game. I'm putting my money on Bruce Pearl. I think Auburn picks up their biggest win of the season. Arizona, Washington State. Arizona is going on the road to Washington State, and that's why I like the Cougs. They're 4-1 against the spread in conference home games. Coming off a big win against Arizona State, the Pac-12 has been wacky the last couple of weeks. We've seen some upsets, and perhaps Arizona should be on upset alert in Pullman tonight. I'm taking plus nine. Staying in the Pac-12, I love betting on the Pac-12, man. USC in Colorado, I'm surprised to see the Trojans is only a one-point favorite at home. I think USC is the better team here. Colorado getting upset the other night at UCLA. SC coming into this one with plenty of momentum. They've won five of their last six, and I think they get the job done today against Colorado. I'm going back home to the state of Texas for this next pick. The Longhorns hosting Iowa State. I am in absolute shock that the Horns are only a three-point favorite at home. Iowa State is terrible. I repeat, terrible. And you might say, oh, well, this is a trap. Vegas knows something that you don't, Will Scott. Well, you know what? Iowa State was a four-point dog against number one Baylor, and the Cyclones got rocked last week. I'm not overthinking this one. Texas is at home and is the much better team. Hook them horns. All right, our dog of the week pick now. Not a whole lot of people are giving Syracuse a chance tonight against Duke, and that is what I love about this game. Even with the loss at Clemson on Tuesday, the Orange are playing their best basketball as of late. Wins in five of their last six games. Elijah Hughes is going to be the best player on the floor tonight. Expect him to go off, but I think this is going to be the Joe Girard game. I like Hughes to pull off the upset in this one. Give me Orange money line plus 250 for our dog of the week. And now parlay to close things out. We got a four-teamer. I'm taking Washington, Butler, Louisville, Notre Dame, all money line. All of those teams should win. And these aren't just, you know, against the spread picks. We just need them to win. This is money line. Feeling good about this parlay. All those teams should roll today. $15 to win 15. And now for our bankroll review. 10 bucks on Jay Wright and Nova, Texas Tech, and Auburn for our other games of the week. Some Pac-12 picks with Washington State and USC. Texas for my lock of the week at minus three. $15 on all of those picks. Syracuse, our dog of the week, and a four-team money line parlay to close things out. Well, thanks for tuning in for another edition of Beat the Bookie. This has been Will Scott. Have a great weekend of money making.